Today we're going to be talking about six new movies, TV shows and seasons coming out in July 2021 that feature queer women in them. So let's get right into this. Starting July 2nd on Netflix is the first of the movie trilogy Fear Street. Shadyside, a history of horror has earned it the nickname Killer Capital USA. Fear Street is a movie series based on the book series of the same name. The series follows a group of teenagers as they take on an evil force that plagues their town after a series of brutal slayings. The Fear Street trilogy will be releasing weekly in July with part 1 1994 releasing July 2nd, part 2 1978 releasing July 9th and part 3 1666 releasing July 16th. Based on the trailer, there seems to be lesbian storylines in at least two out of the three movies, being part one and three. Now, when it comes to horror stuff, I'm a huge scaredy cat, but I'm thinking these could be fun movies to make reactions to. So let me know in the comments below if you would be keen to see reaction videos to these movies. Moving over to July 9th, a new French movie called Benedetta is releasing in theaters. <laughs> I don't think this is a global release date, so the date might vary from country to country. So if you're interested in this movie, have a search in your local area for the release date. Benedetta is a movie based on a true story following a novice nun in the 17th century who joins an Italian convent and begins a love affair with another woman. This movie is giving me serious novitiate vibes, which as a side note, I would definitely recommend watching Novitiate. It features Diana Agron, so what more could you want? This movie though is really intriguing. The, the trailer is hot, <laughs> but I don't have high hopes it will end well. Also coming out July 9th is Atypical Season 4 on Netflix. What's your plan, you know, after college? After college? I have no idea. I never thought I would get this far. Atypical follows an 18-year-old autistic boy, Sam, as he navigates the world of dating, school, and moving out of home. It also focuses on his family and their lives, including his sister, Casey, who is coming to terms with her sexuality. I absolutely adore Atypical, and I'm so sad that this is the last season, but I'm just glad we're getting one more. It's been way too long since I've seen Casey and Izzy on my screens. I'm hoping they end the season with Casey and Izzy in a good place. I will be super mad if they don't. But I have faith. I've loved seeing Casey and Izzy grow in their selves and their relationship so far, and I can't wait to see them continue to grow together. Netflix, please don't let me down. I'm begging you. Coming back on July 15th is Netflix series Never Have I Ever for a season two. This is my last chance for an American high school boyfriend. Good morning, Ben. Good morning, Paxton. Never Have I Ever follows 15-year-old Davy as she tries to change her social status at school and land the boy of her dreams. One of Davy's best friends, Fabiola, was coming to terms with her sexuality in season one and did come out to her best friends as well as her mom as being gay. She also started dating a girl at her school, Eve, by the end of the season. I can't wait to see her story in season two and hopefully some more of her and Eve together. The last movie I want to tell you about is Still Water. I loved her. I know you did. But everybody thinks that I killed her. Stillwater follows Bill Baker, an oil worker in Stillwater, Oklahoma, who learns that his estranged daughter, Allison, while studying for a year overseas, has been falsely arrested pending trial and charged with murdering her girlfriend, Lina. Now, I'm not gonna lie. This one looks depressing and I have no doubt the majority of the movie will be following the father, Bill, but I thought I would mention it on the off chance that this actually turns out to be a good watch. So that is six new movies, TV shows, and seasons that are coming out July 2021. If you know of anything else that has been released in July 2021, please let us know in the comments below. Also, if you are new to my channel and enjoyed this video, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this, as well as reaction videos. But that's it from me. I will see you in my next video. Okay, bye.